Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 13 of our Astropolis Let's Play series, where today we are working on starting uh, our journey into AE2, getting our crystals growing, uh, getting some electrum, getting some silicon, getting all the things that we're going to start needing towards uh, AE2. So let's get started. Welcome back, my friends, to another wonderful day here in the world of the Andrada, where still got some floating bricks that I need to take care of, but I really just don't feel like pillaring up to get to them. So, hey, we're going to leave them there. Anyway, uh, today we are going to work on, um, well, progressing, progressing our quests. Uh, so last episode, we left off talking about our new base updates and everything, our uh, our power flower towers, our uh, automation for all of our crystals and everything. Everything is working uh, quite well. I did go ahead and get ourselves uh, another two crafters over here. Um, so we have this crafter here, which is set up to do nickel, aluminum, uh, redstone, nether quartz, and iron ingots. And then I have this one over here, which is not doing anything at the moment, but I did blank out its inventory because, uh, I had the pipe connected to it for future, you know, pipage, uh, and it was pulling just random items into there. So I pipe blinked it out so nothing can go into there, but everything's working well. And we've cleared through our backlog of shards. <laughs> So there should be no shards sitting in here. There should be no shards sitting in any of these. There should be nothing anywhere. So basically, we're at the point where every resource that we're generating is being automatically converted over into its requisite um, ingot or, uh, or crystal or redstone or whatever in tarnation it is. Also, I realized I thought these metal sliding doors would be like iron doors where you can't open them, which is why I put these buttons here. Uh, but no, you can just right click on them to go through. So uh, aesthetically, I will keep the buttons there. But for uh, my purposes, I'm not going to stop to hit the button every time um, I cleared this out. Why does this keep showing up? I I think I did it even in between episodes, didn't I? Like or like on episode. Did I do this on camera? I swear I cleaned this, took this out of there. Stop showing up. I don't know why that did that again. Uh, anyway, that's that. So today what I would like to work on is continuing on with our quest chain um, and getting ourselves into Electrum. Before I do so, though, uh, I know that up here we're going to be starting to get into Certus Quartz for uh, AE2. And in order to get this Certus Quartz, if we take a look at the recipe, like Certus Quartz, uh, fully grown uh, bud will drop crystals. That's the clusters. Well, how do I get those? I'm not entirely sure, but I do know we have the in-world transformation, as is always the case here, uh, that will make us Certus Quartz crystals. However, I have to submerge it into water, and we don't have the ability to place water down however i did read uh somewhere yeah there we go compact machines allow water to be placed in them so we can make these uh damaged crystals and then get ourselves uh a, you know it goes from chipped to damaged or something like that anyway ultimately our goal here is to get a flawless crystal that we can put into the garden cloche and be able to create more of them but in order to do so we are going to need to get into compact machines <clears throat> Uh, so we have the resources I've gotten. I let this AFK for a little while uh, and just generate over time some of these resources so that we should have plenty of them, obviously, except for steel, because it's not a generatable resource. It is a created over on our cloche, which I probably should have set some up there, but I didn't. Uh, last thing I want to talk about amethyst. I did go ahead and throw a void upgrade into this drawer because we filled this up even with its 8K on the amethyst. And then it was starting to back stuff our stuff over here. The void upgrade is not terribly too expensive just requires some item trash cans uh, which requires cobblestone and then it requires these machinist research packs four of them so I made four more I'm, I'm trying to keep 10 of them on hand at all times if I can um, that way when I need to craft something I have them available to me the other thing I want to do I'd like to which I should have thought about before I started recording I'd like to move like my stuff into there so that crafting can take place all inside of there and I don't have to keep running back and forth for all of my things and my stuff uh, but I'll just go ahead and move our crafting table into here for now and then that way we don't have to keep going back and forth at least for a little bit with some of these resources we will for like stone and, or like yeah stones and woods and stuff but I'll try and move those over here until we get an AE2 system that can handle uh, bridging all of these different storage systems that we have together. But for now, what I need to do is get myself some iron because we need to make some iron sheet metal. So let's grab myself a stack of that uh, and iron sheet metal. If I remember, which I didn't put the compact machine walls on here uh, is just plates, right? Yeah. So I need to go pack this up. I should have some plates sitting in my compactors. 
One of these has plates. Yes, you have plates, but I'm going to go ahead and give it some more to work on. There, plate those up. And then with that, we should be able to make some more of this iron sheet metal, which actually I should, since I made some, I should have some floating around too, maybe in here. Yeah, look at that. I made it for all this stuff. I knew I had some. Okay, so now we can make some compact machine walls. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make a stack of those. So with the compact machine walls, I'm now able to make myself a personal shrinking device, which just requires an iron ingot. Okay. So personal shrinking device, this is gonna allow me to shrink into my compact machines. Uh, we're gonna to need to make ourselves an energy tunnel. So I'm gonna need one of each of you. Energy tunnel, we have item tunnels, and then we have fluid tunnels. I've actually never used the tunnels in compact machines uh, because I've always just wirelessly transferred items in and out of them. Not sure how I wanna handle it in this, in this playthrough. Like, the tunnels are cool, but wirelessly moving things is cooler, I guess. Then I don't have to worry about pipes hooking up and everything like that. Um, I do want to use the chunk loader upgrade to make sure that our compact machine that we build stays chunk loaded. But with that being done, I can now go ahead and craft myself a compact machine. So that should have finished out this quest chain, shouldn't it have? Ah, I didn't make a food book, a book, and a carrot. <laughs> well... We'll get to that in a bit, uh, but I need to make a compact machine. So my first compact machine that I'm going to be able to make uh, tiny is going to require a block of copper. How about a small? OK, a block of iron, a normal, a block of gold, a large is an obsidian. OK, so I can go with a normal sized one with one block of gold. So let me grab that and then we can make a compact machine, which I believe is a yeah seven by seven. Okay, so that's a seven by seven compact machine we're gonna be able to make. And I think it said use on a bound machine. Uh, so I have to actually use the chunk loader on it. So if I come over here and I place this compact machine down and I enter inside of it, because it's not bound yet, I have to actually enter into it with my personal shrinking device. I will come inside of here and bam, I have a seven by seven room that I can do, uh, well, whatever I decide that I would like to do with it. Uh, and if I right click again, I can go ahead and pop on out and go back to where we entered it in. And if I grab this chunk loader upgrade and I applied it, oh, and this is okay. Upgrade has already been applied. Good. This doesn't get used even. Sweet. I like that. Uh, so that doesn't get used. That's perfect. So now this compact machine will be chunk loaded so anything what chunk loading is is basically means that 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 chunk that this is inside the the area that it is contained within i can't i turn on chunk borders but it's uh inside of the chunk so we're not going to see it uh will always be active essentially so if i place blocks in here that do stuff that require me to be around well they'll continue to do stuff whether i am around or not it's going to keep it loaded in memory the whole time and process the processes that are getting processed by the process yeah. OK, so basically we got this so that we could put some water in here. I would like to test that water theory. So it's also very weird. I do not have the extra jump height in there. It feels so weird. I am like jumping single height and I feel like I'm stunted. Uh, buckets. Do I have any buckets? I should have some buckets, don't I? Did I use the buckets for something? I must have used my buckets. What's in you? Really, all this should just go into here. So now I can just come over here and I can double click this. Bam, it put those shards in there and then it'll distribute them as needed. Okay, so I need some buckets and then I'm gonna need some water. So I need to come over here to get my, my iron. This is where not having AE2 is gonna be a pain. I really, really, really need to start getting uh, something set up for that. Having a, how about like, is R, RF tools is in the pack, but like is the storage scanner or something in here? So we can kind of bridge for the moment. Storage. That's modular storage. How about the storage scanner? It requires ender pearls. We're not there. I bet you the modular storage would work though. Yeah, we can probably make a modular storage and then like a we can make up to a tier three storage module. Maybe. We are like right on the verge of AE2, so I don't know if that's gonna be worth doing right now. Uh, but it's something I can consider depending on how far this is going to, or how long is it going to take for us to get to AE2. Uh, we can just grab a bucket from there. And now if we go back inside of our compact machine, um, which generally, I know I, I 
I think I kept that there and the time in the bottle just sat there. I don't know. If we go in here, I should be able to place this water without issue. Well, not there. Again, the jump height messed me up. Like, look, I only, uh, I feel, I feel so stunted. I'm not jumping way high. Uh, oh man, gravity is so much stronger inside of compact machines. I need a Dragon Ball Z training montage going on here. Uh, yeah, okay, so good. We can place water inside of here, which means we're able to do, well, water-based crafting, which means we can continue on with our quest chain. Uh, so that's that. So where we are at is Electrum. We need to start working on getting ourselves Electrum. Now, Electrum is an alloy. It is an alloy of gold and silver. We are going to make that in the alloy kiln or in the arc furnace. Um, being the Andrada, I did go ahead and set it up in between episodes and threw a whole bunch of this into our alloy kiln. So bada bing, bada boom, we've got some Electrum ingots ready to go, 64 of them, uh, while we were waiting. So we have Electrum. Now, with that Electrum, I have two pathways I need to go. I need to convert into Electrum Grit, which is going to require me to set my Crusher back up uh, because we tore it down in as an experiment for this. So I need to get my Crusher set back up. So we might as well. Um, I'm trying to think, where would I want the Crusher to go? But, um, I mean, I want it to go into one of my domes, so I guess we can just bring it over here and I can go ahead and set the Crusher back up. Give me a moment. All right, our crusher has been returned to its former glory, except for the lever that I'd like to throw in the front. Boop, turn it on and off. OK, so we have our chest feeding into it and then a chest coming out. Uh, so crusher ready to go. Now, what do we need to do with this crusher? I was going to make myself some Electrum grit, which is just throwing some Electrum inside of here. And then that is going to allow me to make Fluix dust. Is that what I'm seeing out of that? OK, so we need to use that to make some Fluix dust. So let's go ahead and get um, 16, I guess, for now. I don't know what what ultimately all how much I'm going to need, but uh, it's good to uh, we'll do that. I should probably make some more Electrum, get some more going, too. But our next step in the quest chain is to make ourselves a charger from AE2. Steel, Electrum, and Machinist Research Pack. So let's pop back on over to our uh, drawer wall area. I did set up another crafting table there, by the way. Tired of running back and forth. Uh, so let's get ourselves... Uh, I'd like to get another stack of gold and my silver... Nickel. Which one of you? Silver. 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 We'll get another... Well, really... That's going to be two stacks of Electrum. Uh, again, look, that showed back up. Why does that keep doing that? I don't understand. I need to put something in there so that it gets taken. I, this is glitched out. It keeps putting this in there. I don't understand. Um, anyway, okay, so where was I at? I was going to make a charger, which required some steel. And then machinist research packs, which I have two of. Uh, and so now we got a charger available to us. Bam. And then with that charger, we are able to make silicone and glowstone. OK, and then we can make a glowstone or geo or a budding glowstone to make more of it. So to make this, we need to get a charger. It is one block of redstone to one block of glowstone. So ultimately, we're going to need one, two, three, four of those so we can make infinite of it. And then we're also going to need silicone, which is just sand converted over to silicon. I know that I've said that two different ways now. Uh, so we need some sand into silicon. And I don't know exactly where a good idea or a good place to set this up would be. Um, I don't know. The AE2 charger, does it allow for, like, what kind of power inputs? Is it special? Does it need, I don't know, AE2? Like I said, never used it before. So I have no idea how it's going to work. Ah, it actually directly connected to there and it worked fine. So good. Now I'm going to assume this is a one in one out kind of thing. So I probably need to um, operate this so I could uh, get it instead of operate, operate um, input items with a hopper, pull items out. But is it filtered? I don't know. Let's put our redstone in there. Let it convert. OK, so we have a glowstone in there. Let's go get ourselves two wooden hoppers, because since it's only one at a time, I don't need the speed of multiple different hoppers. So can we automate this with hoppers? Or is it going to pull the item out sooner than I would like? OK, so if we do this and I were to set up um, a chest here, sure, that's fine. And then I come over here and I grab my hopper and I say, hey, into that chest. Okay, so it pulled the glowstone. 
Now here's the question. Uh, a, can I pipe into the top so I can make this like a single block kind of thing? Yes. And OK, it has an output slot. That's what I wanted to see. Good. So we have our redstone cooked up. Bam. And the A2 block is smart enough to have an output slot so I don't have to worry about uh, it pulling the sand out too soon. Basically, it has two slots. It has its input slot and then an output slot. And this is only able to pull from the output slot. I like it. Perfect. Uh, so we have silicone being cooked up. Bam. And we have glowstone made. Now with the glowstone, uh, I can go ahead and make myself the budding glowstone using a miner's research pack and some more bright shards. I think I have a few bright shards left over from my whole crafting process rating of all of the other ones found in here. Yeah, look, I have a few. So we can go ahead and make the budding glowstone. Bam. Uh, and that one is not in your quests, by the way. Budding glowstone does not show up in your quests under more clusters or anything like that. So just keep that in mind. If you want to make the glowstone, it is available. It's one of the only ones available that's not in your quest list. Uh, but you can go ahead and make it. I need a cluster template, which means I'm going to need more of that budding or that bright shards, don't I? I think I don't have any more. Uh, let's do this and this or was i smart and made extra and put them all in i don't think i was that smart no i was not that smart well that's okay so let's do this we're gonna put budding glowstone here but i need to make myself a template the cluster template uh which i can use amethyst yeah that's what it was that's how i was able to make them i forgot that's where the amethyst that's why i'm making so much amethyst so i can make these cluster templates so many doors Bam, 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 and bam, and then all the way back over to this room. Uh, not only do I need AE2, I need wireless AE2. I need, I need something. What am I over here for again? Ah, to make this, and then I can just time in a bottle it to get the... Give me one. I think I time in a bottle. That's not the right spot to time in a bottle. I need a time in a bottle, the actual block there, but I can't get to it because this is in the way. So it's going to grow. It's going to do its thing and we'll deal with glowstone later. Uh, I can just make more in the charger for now as needed. It's expensive with a block of glow redstone, but that's OK. So uh, that gives us this. That gave us this. That gave us this. That gave us this. Our next step here is to continue on with Electrum and we are going to need glowstone dust. It is made by breaking glowstone blocks. Of course, that's the pretty standard way of doing so. So let's get myself another three and charge those up. And then I'll let our glowstone just chill, you know, the, the glowstone crystal crust, crystal cluster thingy. And we'll just AFK for a bit and let that do its thing. Uh, you're not the right room. This is uh, running around the world with the Andrada, apparently. Okay. And let's get some more glowstone. And we have our silicon. Interesting that didn't stack. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so now we got a boop, boop, boop. And then boop, boop, boop. No fortune, so no extras. But we got nine glowstone dust. And with that glowstone dust, I should now be able to create Sirtis Quartz dust. Okay. So I use this with the Sirtis Quartz dust uh, to turn into, or I'm sorry, glowstone to turn it into Sirtis Quartz dust. So if I place this inside of here, that should turn into Sirtis Quartz dust. And then with that Sirtis Quartz dust, I can make um, Sirtis Quartz crystals okay so that's that arc furnace is into this there's also the in-world transmutation which allows because ultimately my goal i want to get to this right i want the flawless budding so how do i get to a damage made by throwing certus quartz block and charged certus quartz into water and a charged certus quartz is where i take one of those but i need a block so i'm gonna need more of this stuff. I see. Okay. I can make one block right now, but I also need a charge Sirtis Quartz. So I need, literally, I need one more glowstone in order to do this. Lovely. Okay. So I need to arc furnace all of this stuff, which is you. We're going to arc furnace these. And there's some more old industrial wood planks, by the way. Good. 
I think I said I can do five. Something like that. Yeah, get to work. Do some work there, buddy. Um, let's uh, fill in this hole real quick so I don't fall into it. It's not that it's going to hurt or anything, but I don't like it. And then, are you done? You're done? Now I have the Certus Quartz Crystals. So now what I need to do is make a block of this, apparently. Um, oh, is it only four? Yeah, it's only four. Okay, so there's a Certus Quartz block. Then I need to charge one of these. I'm like, why am I going so slow? I gotta eat. I'm hungry. Both in-game and IRL. Okay, so then if I charge you... We'll get a charge Certus Quartz Crystal. Bam. And with that, it says I can make the... Um, this can be made by throwing Certus Quartz block and charge Certus into water. Then, how do I get to the chipped? I think I just have to let it... Like, let it keep cooking. Right? A damaged with a charged will make a chipped. Okay. So then a chipped with a charge. So I do need more charged, but eventually I'll be able to make. So I'm going to end up needing one, two, three, four, which is exactly what I had. Let's get that. And then I can cycle through, get ourselves the flawed. So then I don't have to worry about making these anymore. I just throw them into one of my um, things over there. That's my goal. I want to do that. How long is this going to take? I am going to imagine it actually takes quite a while. I know AE2's uh, water processy thingy takes forever usually. So uh, it will probably end up at this point. Let's see what happens and kind of experiment a little bit. But assume that it's going to take forever and then probably cut the episode. Uh, so if I take one of you and one of you and I throw you in there, now it won't get picked. Oh. Well, that was much faster than I thought it would be. So you and you. It'll switch to the new item. What do you know? Oh, hey, I said I was going to cut, but I guess I don't need to. Give me the new one. Bam, bam. Well, this is turning out to be much, uh, much more efficient than I thought. Yeah, give me that. Oh, this was totally worth I thought I was going to have to sit here and babysit this for the next, like, hour or so and let it cook. Okay, is that not is that not the recipe for this? Charged, flawed, in water. Oh, I already have it flawless. Hey, look at me. I'm actually trying to do extra work. Flawless crystal acquired. Didn't even have to do terribly too much extra. Uh, what's going on here? No oxygen? Okay. I can't breathe, even though I'm breathing. Uh, I need to get myself another template. And craft that guy up. Bam. And now, let's just take my helmet off and put it back on. There we go. And then now I can throw this into there, too, and get another, um, well, another crystal going. Good. So now we can throw this in there with this crystal template, and we're going to craft. We're going to create flawless budding circus quartz. This one I can tick accelerate because I can access this part. So go ahead and do it. There we go. And now we have circus quartz clusters. I can take one of those, place it here, which means it'll now go there, which means it'll break it. And it'll end up in here, and it'll get stuck in whichever one because I don't have that programmed. Right? Where are you at? Uh, excuse me? Did I have an unlocked drawer? No. Sir? Where's, where's my stuff at? Does that not break with the breaker? Okay. Interesting. Let's, uh... Let's let's not um, let's unlock that, I guess. I don't know what happened there. Maybe it can't be auto broken. OK, let's lock that again. Let's try that one more time. We're out of power, but that's OK. Certus Quartz Crystal Cluster. 
can be crushed or a fully grown quartz bud drops crystals. Yeah, it just goes straight to Certus Quartz crystals. We don't have enough power, <laughs> even though it's dig accelerated so far. No power. Um, okay, so if I place this here, yeah, it's just deleting it. Okay, so that does not. Oh, why? Why can't that be? That's kind of a pain. TBH, TBH, kind of a pain that that can't be uh, automated like the rest of this. I don't like that. Uh, what about glowstone clusters then? Like what's going to happen here? Okay, so that turns into the crystals and everything. So just like you would expect. So now those can go into here and then glowstone shards. I have to reset this guy. Glowstone shards there. Uh, remember that layout. Now that's fine. So then I can do this and I can do this and apply and make glowstone. Okay. So now that'll make glowstone. That's fine. But, uh, oh, I also need to get the clusters in here. Yeah. The crystals don't work. I don't like that part. So I have to actually manually break these in order to get the uh, crystals is what this is telling me or throw it in the crusher. And also, where did that just go? I think that just got picked up by... Yeah, those ones got picked up. Okay, so that being said, I guess I don't need to... Really, I should get a different um, garden cloche and not have it in this room then and just have it somewhere else. I think I have another garden cloche just chilling out in one of these chests and we can just have it, yeah. We just have it on its own little separate system, okay? So I think I'll do that. I'll do, get that in its own little separate one so that way it can just create these crystals and then I'll probably, you know, honestly... Dump it into the crusher. I think putting it in the crusher is um, the cheaper way. We get six instead of four. So at this one, I might as well just put it into the crusher like it doesn't hurt. Uh, but that gives us our Certus Quartz, and we're going to be producing it. So I'll get that set up here. Um, and I say I was going to set it up in the crusher, but then water becomes an issue. Whatever. I'll figure something out. But then that means next episode we can come back. We can get ourselves our Electrum Grit, which we should actually have. So I can complete that quest. Uh, where is my Crusher? I was going to go grab my Electrum as I walked by, but I figure I might as well just do this. There's the Electrum Grit taken care of. With that, I can then... Um, where did my bricks go? Mm, things are going. I don't know what's happening. Uh, I can now get into Fluix Dust, start making Fluix Blocks, uh, Fluix Crystals, which is going to get me Inscribers and Obsidian and open up our next journey into uh, our next planet and again, AE2. So if you enjoyed today's episode, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it. It really does help out the channel. And uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.